buying any laptop is a big decision. You may end up using it for several years before getting another, and there are many makes, models, and ship configurations to choose from. Luckily for you, we've tested many of the new releases in the past year. These are our top picks for the very best laptops you can buy right now. Please watch till the end. We are giving some laptop buying tips to choose right at the end of the video. A great Windows laptop, Acer Swift 3X Intel is in the middle of a graphics revolution, and the Acer Swift 3X was one of the first devices to sport its XE graphics technology. The GPU won't give you high-end gaming performance, far from it, but it does provide a graphical boost, making this light, thin machine capable of entry-level content creation. It's pricey for the quality, but the mix of performance and diminutive size makes it one to consider, especially for creative and design students. It doesn't match Apple's M1 MacBook Air, but it's a comparable Windows equivalent if the Mac OS laptop doesn't suit your needs. An extra sleek Windows PC. Dell XPS 13 2021 Dell's XPS 13 has been kicking around since 2012 and remains one of the most popular thin and light laptops out there. Dell released an update late in 2021, adding an option for an OLED screen, but the design is otherwise the same. The XPS sleek design is really the selling point, giving the MacBook Air a run for its money, and the incredibly thin bezel gives the XPS 13 a 16-10 aspect ratio. That extra vertical real estate is surprisingly noticeable and useful, especially when browsing the web or reading Slack. Battery life is also good. We manage 12.5 hours during normal use, web browsing, watching videos, editing documents. Though if you opt for the OLED model, you will get a little less battery life. We also like the 15-inch XPS, and there's a developer edition XPS 13 that ships with Ubuntu Linux if that's your jam. Best 2-in-1 Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 The trouble with many 2-in-1 laptops is that, in tablet mode, they feel cumbersome and just not worthy of the hybrid moniker. Not so with the Galaxy Book Pro 360. This laptop is sturdy, luxurious to the touch and lightweight all in one. Then, there's the immensely accurate included S Pen for added tablet fun. The AMOLED panel is the best 1080p display you'll find on a laptop, while the audio is surprisingly bassy for such a slim machine. The trackpad is huge, and the keyboard is a dream for productivity work. Holding this laptop back from greatness is the lack of a 1610 or 3.2 display, as well as some overly eager fans. A maxed out Mac MacBook Pro, 16 inch M1 Max, 2021. Need all the power the Mac world has to offer. The 16 inch MacBook with the M1 Max chip delivers. This is a video editing, game playing powerhouse of a laptop. The screen is actually larger than 16 inches, clocking in at 16.2 inches. Thanks to the notch, the 1080p webcam sits at the top center of the display. And what a screen it is! The mini LED technology gives much better contrast, deeper blacks, and punchier colors. It also has a 120Hz refresh rate. This Mac has a ton of ports, Hard to believe, I know, but it's true, an HDMI port, three USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4, an SD card slot, and a headphone jack. What you won't get is a touch bar, thank goodness that mess is gone. Another elegant Windows laptop. Microsoft Surface Laptop 4. It might not be as flashy as the hybrid tablet laptop design that made Microsoft's Surface brand famous, but the new Surface Laptop 4 is everything a laptop should be. Slim and lightweight with an excellent screen and keyboard. Ports are one place where Surfaces skimp, like MacBooks, but you now get a USB-C port, along with a good old-fashioned USB-A port. 
It also has a magnetic charging port. If you're a klutz who trips over the power cord all the time, this can be a lifesaver. It severs the connection between the wall plug and the computer before the laptop goes flying across the room like a frisbee. The Surface Laptop 4 comes in 13 and 15 inch sizes. There are also AMD Ryzen and Intel chipsets available. If you're hoping to do some light gaming or video editing, I suggest the Ryzen. Either will be plenty powerful enough for working on documents, browsing the web, and checking email. One great change from its predecessor is the much improved battery life. Microsoft is claiming upwards of 17 hours. My testing so far has been closer to 16, but that's still way more than enough for a full day of work. Going Chrome. Google Pixelbook Go. The Pixelbook Go is Google's latest vision of what a Chromebook should be. Unlike previous efforts, the Go doesn't shoot for the stars. Its price reflects that, and it starts at a full dollar 350 less than its predecessor. However, if you like the original Pixelbook's high-end specs, you can order a high-end Go with a Core i7 processor, 16 GB of RAM, 256 GB of storage, and a 4K display. The Go's design is very much function over form, and an interesting ridged underside is the only thing that sets it apart from standard laptops. The base model uses the Intel Core M3 chip, but we recommend going for the Core i5. You'll get 8 GB of RAM either way, which is plenty for average Chromebook use. Chrome OS has progressed significantly in recent years and feels very mature. Support for Linux makes it decent for light development work too. Using Android apps on it can still be an exercise in frustration, but things have improved in recent releases. Our favorite Mac. Apple MacBook Air, M1 2020. The MacBook Air remains the Mac to get. Apple upgraded this 13 inches in November 2020, ditching Intel chips for its own M1 processor. The results are impressive. Battery life is great, easily lasting more than a full workday. Perhaps more surprising is the excellent performance, even in apps made for Intel-powered machines. Apple uses a tool called Rosetta to translate these apps to work with its M1 chip, and most of them run just as well if not better. If you're concerned about compatibility, well, more and more developers are releasing M1 versions of their apps. For example, Adobe already has M1 versions of Lightroom and Photoshop. The Air retains a slim and lightweight design with solid speakers, an excellent keyboard, and a good display. We also love how it now instantly wakes from sleep, just like your phone or tablet. If you want a Mac and aren't planning to edit video or otherwise tax it too much, this is the MacBook you want. Not quite a laptop. Microsoft Surface Go 3. Microsoft's Surface Go 3 has a design that stands out on this list for its diminutive size and unique form factor. It's a Surface tablet with a detachable keyboard and stylus pen, both sold separately, not your standard laptop. It has the same premium build as its more expensive Surface Brethren, a colorful, sharp display, and even Windows Hello facial recognition. The third iteration brings 10th generation Intel chips and Windows 11, which offers a vastly improved touchscreen experience. Unfortunately, battery life took a step backwards. If you're planning to be out of the house working all day, you'll need to throw the charger into your bag. The use case here is less intense computing. If you just need to browse the web, edit documents, and the like, the Surface Go might be the only laptop you'll need. The excellent keyboard and trackpad cover are unfortunately sold separately, but I consider them essential, so be sure to grab them. Laptop buying tips. How to choose the right laptop for you. If none of these laptops quite rings your bell, that's okay. There are far more laptops out there than we have time to test. To help you make smart choices, we put together a complete laptop buying guide. To make sure you buy something that will serve you well for years to come, we recommend sticking to these guidelines. RAM, 
Make sure you get at least 8 GB of RAM 16 GB would be even better. Ninth generation or higher. There are dozens of chips on the market, but we prefer 8th generation or higher Intel chips. The 12th is the latest generation. Core i5 or higher. We suggest going with at least an Intel Core i5, though an i7 will give you more power, which you'll be glad you have if you're doing anything taxing, like editing video or even processing large batches of photos. AMD has wisely elected to follow a similar naming convention, and we suggest a Ryzen 5 chip, though again, for more processor-intensive tasks, the Ryzen 7 is the better choice. Screen resolution. The display depends on the size of the laptop. A 1080p HD screen on a 13-inch laptop looks good enough. A 1080p screen on a 15-inch laptop does not. If you spend all day staring at your screen, a higher resolution screen, like a 4K screen, can ease eye strain. 10 hours of battery. Finally, make sure it gets at least 10 hours of battery life.